Hey everybody, Rick's here. In this video, I'm going to be taking care of two things. One is I'm going to be doing a review on this Sharpie. It's a Sharpie paint pen, 0.5 millimeter, and it's in the color of white. An oil-based, very thin pen. And how I'm going to do a review on this is I'm going to use this pen to create a grid on a clear transparency, which is something that's very difficult to draw on without it smearing and coming off. And that's what I'm going to use that pen for to see how well it will help me make a grid of white lines so that I could take this image here, which you can see is very dark. And if I use dark lines, it would blend into the background, so I want to use white lines. And the purpose is to use the grid so that I can sketch it onto this very large 18 by 24 inch paper. So then I can start drawing it in pencil in this very large format. So, let's get right into it. paper in case you're interested in knowing it's a Canson and it's the 1557 as you can see right there 18 by 24 inch well my image like this one right here is simply eight and a half by 11 or 8 by 10 I'm going to be taking this 8 by 9 and I'm going to be drawing it onto a 18 by uh, 24 inch um, drawing paper which is quite a large size drawing paper so in order to do that I'm going to be using the grid method for enlarging now if I was to just uh, take a black grid then it would be very difficult to see on this um, very dark image so I decided that I need to do a white grid which would show up really nice but all the white pens that I have found, for example, white gel pens or charcoal or any of those things, well, you can't write on clear transparencies. Now, the reason I want to use a transparency is because I, I don't want to draw the grid on my uh, photograph here. And I want to be able to lift that grid off to look underneath it. Because sometimes even the grid lines could obscure very small details. And uh, if you've watched my videos, you know that I'm all about the details. So, to do that... Here, if you could see, it's sh very shiny because I have already placed a transparency on top of this image. It's just a regular transparency, as you can see, hopefully. And I have taped it on the edges so it doesn't move. And the reason I did it this way, rather than just drawing the grid on the transparency without the photo underneath it right now, is because I want to start my one inch grid from the very edge of the photograph itself, the image itself. And to do that, I, I needed to have this aligned up really nice and perfect. So anyway, taking a ruler, I'm going to put the in inch mark the very first inch mark so you can you you can start from any one of these inch marks okay that one there's a two inch there's a three inch just find one of those in the very end I don't want to use the very edge because it's not very accurate that way but I put it on let's say the one inch line here clean off some of that mess there it got in the way and I'm going to go right across the top here Just like that. So I have one inch mark aligned to the left edge of my image. Now I'm going to take this Sharpie pen that I'm, you might say, reviewing here in this video. And you want to shake it just like you do any other paint can. Because it is actually oil paint. Which is kind of cool. Because I want something that will stick to this transparency and not just smear off. And that's what we're going to see if this could do the trick. All right, now this is a 0.5 millimeter because I needed a very fine point. You should be able to see that it's a very fine point on there. 
Hopefully that focus, focuses in. It's already starting to paint my finger. And it has a plunger, so if you don't have any paint coming out, just press down the plunger a few times until it comes out. Okay, so I don't have anything coming out, so I'm going to press down until I get some paint to come out. And there we go, some paint coming out. And every one inch, I'm going to put a little mark. And you want to be very accurate here, very accurate, every one inch. All right, so I got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then there's a half inch there that we just have to leave alone. And you want to do the same exact thing on the bottom that you did on the top. So if you started on this edge, you need to start on this edge on this side here, this side. But I'm going to turn this ruler around and make it easy for me. And I'm going to align it up to the 11 here. It doesn't matter which one, as long as it's a, a one inch increment. And then do the same thing. So here I'll do it on the... Okay, so my pen stopped because it's quick dry. So I got to press down to get the ink to flow. And there we go. The ink is flowing. And it's flowing really nice and even and smooth, which is good news for me. And if you need to do this, it'll be good news for you if this thing works. We'll find out here momentarily, right? All right, going to make sure I get this... Get this right, move my ruler, get it all right on the nose here. Three. I can't see that. Turn on some more light here, see if I can see that uh, mark. This is a dark ruler and it's kind of hard to see with a dark background, but okay, I gotta push the plunger down again to get the ink to go. There we go. All right, so I've done marks across the top I've done marks across the bottom let me zoom in here so that you can see and I'll hold this thing up so you can see those marks that I put on the bottom and those same marks that I put on the top one inch apart okay now I need to do the same thing on the left and right side so turn it over to inches and I need to line up I'm going to start from the upper left and line that inches up there perfectly and then put a little white mark in here I gotta get the paint to flow again there we go okay here here, here, be as, as accurate as possible. And then there's going to leave a little bit on the bottom. All right. And now I'm going to do the same on the other side. So starting from the very top here, line that up. All right. I'm just going to put a little dot there. I don't have to put little lines. I can put little dots to work just as well. All right. We got left and right. Now, of course, we need to connect the lines. But the question is, is this dry and is this going to rub off? Well, let's find out here. Let me go ahead and put the cap back on the pen when not in use. And I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so you can see that. And now, will this, is this dry or is it going to smear? Perfect. So this seems to work really quickly. This is great. Okay. So let's go ahead and complete this little task. 
see if we get ourselves a nice little little grid action going here. Now this this thing here is starting to um, slide down. I want to get it right here in the middle of this camera. So I'm going to tape this up so it doesn't move around while I'm drawing this. So let me just get some of this drafting tape here, really good stuff, and just put it right on the edge here, and on the edge here. And this should hold it down pretty good. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing the vertical and horizontal lines. Give it a little shake and bake. Line up your ruler to the mark on the top and its corresponding mark to the bottom. It's very simple. I'm going to push down the plunger to get the paint to start flowing. Once I can see it's flowing, I'm going to go straight down along the edge of the ruler and go right through the other line. Just like that. Perfect line. Now, I probably should have started from the right hand side, which is what I'm going to do right now, because I don't want to take any chance of when I put this ruler down that I'm going to start smearing this, even though this may be dry already. I'm not going to take a chance on this, but we will test it on another sheet of this um, transparency just to see how long it takes for this to dry since this is also a review. Looks like I smeared some on my thing here and I can tell you this, you can't lick it off, you can't wet it off. You're gonna have to use paint thinner. So let, let's go ahead and Right now, I can't rub this off my, my clear uh, transparency. I'm going to get some paint thinner, and let's see if we can get that off. All right, well, I have me some uh, Mona Lisa paint thinner here. It's a paint thinner for artists. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that. Now let's see if we have a way of cleaning up this kind of an accident here. So I got some good news and I got some not so good news or maybe bad news depending on what side of the fence you're on. But the good news is, is that if you ever need to fix something like that, you can. Okay, that's good news. And the other good news is that this is clearly going to be permanent in that you're not going to wash this off. You're going to actually have to be kind of rough with it with paint thinner to get it off. That's the good news. The bad news is, is that you need to get it off. You're going to have to use a little bit of elbow grease. All right. But for me, I kind of like the fact that it stays on. This, this tells me this is going to work really good in drawing on materials such as glass, plastic, clear transparencies, Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to start on this side. That way I won't smear. Nothing on there. Good. And we'll just keep doing this. Press down to get it going. And what I really like is that this is not very expensive. It cost me $2.50 for a pen which is not bad at all especially if I can do a few of these I'm not sure how much paint actually comes into these things but if I can get me one or two of these grids done I'll be a happy camper now be very careful when you're doing this because you know it just doesn't erase that easily be more work than ever trying to get it off so make those lines nice and sharp up against the ruler and the other reason I like using transparencies is because I could reuse them over and over again 
and I don't need to keep drawing grids. I already have my one inch grids measured out and it makes it easy too when you're if you're going to just transfer onto a drawing paper at the same exact size you can actually use your grid as your ruler because you'll just go and mark 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 on your paper and you're good to go. No ruler needed. I'll press down to get the paint going and then paint. That's literally what you're doing with this pen is you're painting. Oil based paint. Don't get the water based kind of pens that are out there and don't use a gel pen. It's not going to do it on these transparencies. This thing here will work on plastic, it'll work on glass if you want to paint on like glass, drinking glasses, whatever. And uh, that's great. Okay, I'm going to actually. I think it's going to be easier for me to do it this way. But I'm going to turn this around like so. Tape that down. I'm going to assume this is all dry and it is dry. The Boy that dries really fast and so that means it's going to dry fast on your tip if you just leave the cap off too long so don't do that. And you will have to, of course, get your paint to start again by pressing down the tip. This has got a plunger. You just press it in. It, it has a spring-loaded thing here. And that gets the paint going. And once you get it going, then just like any other pen, just go straight across. So here we go. See how easy that is? Look, it just effortlessly. Look at that. Now, what, what happened here... And I'm gonna I'm gonna have to uh, remove this camera so you can see this. But look what happened right there. Ended up a big wad of paint just flew across here. So you got to be careful that you get paint build up on the edge of this pin here, and you flick it, you're gonna get paint flickering all over the place. All right, I'm gonna take a little tissue here because I don't know why a little puppy threw all that paint over there. In fact, I'm gonna wipe up some of that paint. Hmm. Paint even took off some of the dirt that was on my uh, drawing table. Okay, let's continue here. Press it down just to get it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, got it. I know exactly what's going on. That's why I do these review things. Okay, when you you press down on here, that paint just starts coming out. You got to be real careful with that. So don't just press it and hold it down. Be quick about it. Don't be a knucklehead like me. But you know, this is a learn. It didn't come with an instruction book. Well, it actually did. It says, uh, let's see, remove cap with marker in tip up position. That means up like that. Uh, it says depress point with finger recap and shake well and mix to mix paint and then it says depress marker point several times on a surface to saturate the point okay and that's it that's all the instructions you get all right well it's still saturated so I'm not going to press down all right so don't do it unnecessarily only when you don't have any paint coming out all right so let's get that on here like so. All right. Okay, I don't have any paint coming out. See, oh, there we go. Now there's some paint. Gotta go twice to get it to start up again. All right, here we go. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to drag it along my transparency here just in case there's still wet paint on the ruler. I'll be very careful about that. Okay, next one. Alright, 
wipe this off. Whoa! The tip came right off. Okay, so be careful about that because the tip can the tip can come off. All right, all you have to do is just pull on it. I I went to clean it and it came right out. So I'm going to clean it really well here just so it doesn't have any paint that doesn't need to come out. And I'm going to push it, actually push that in to make sure it's nicely seated. Wipe off any excess paint. And I'm going to cap it. All right. So I could use it another day. All right. It looks like I got me a little bit of a smear right there that was still wet enough I could take off. That's good. But there you go. There's my grid. And as you can see, you can see this grid really clear on top of this drawing. So now I'll be able to t use this grid, grid and draw me a bigger grid on my drawing paper and then enlarge this. And if you want to see that, uh, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell, and set it for all notifications so that you will know when I upload my next video, which will be that I'm going to be enlarging this using the grid method. Well, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, grid drawing slash review of the Sharpie paint pen, oil-based paint pen, 0.5 millimeter. My thoughts on this, I love it. I recommend it for this kind of stuff or for painting on glass or plastic or anything that's usually difficult and you really need something that's going to leave a permanent mark uh, that you can take off in an emergency with paint thinner. All right. Well, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.